Hello, invisible internet friends. Today I'm gonna to do a very quick video. We are going to set up a photograph so that everything is perfect and ready for the art resin. And here's the art resin. This is the 32 ounce kit. I'll be using that in the follow-up video. Okay, let's go. Black acrylic paint. Acrylic dries really fast as opposed to oil. Um, I like using acrylic for everything. Rebecca likes to use oil because she finds she can blend better. So it's really a preference, but for the edges, I just want something that dries really fast. And the method that I'm using, we're gonna be covering the edges with a bit of art resin anyways. It's gonna look awesome with the resin over top of the edges. So I was putting it on thick. I'll just do one coat. And yes, I'm working very, very fast. We have a new baby at home. It's been a bit crazy. And if you get any on the top, doesn't matter. The photograph's gonna be glued down there anyways. <laughs> All right, and that'll probably be dry in 10 minutes. Let me grab the photo. So this is a painting I've been working on for about a year. And actually I just got it printed at Walmart. One hour, this cost five bucks. You don't gotta be too fancy here. Let's see how it looks, okay? All right, so here we are. I'm just gonna go over the tools quick while the edges are drying. I always used to just use glue sticks for this. That's fine. The odd time you get some chunks. So if it's not perfect this stage, don't worry. Just do the art resin coat over top and that'll hide all the imperfections of your mail. So what I do now, this is what I was taught by my friend Ron Smith, a photographer who does a lot of this stuff. 3M Super 77, it's a spray adhesive and you can get it at the hardware store. Two clamps just with some clean plastic top just to clamp the picture on when it's in place. You'll see, brayer, you can get it in the, in the print making section of art stores. We'll sell these on artresin.com soon. It's an extra piece of paper and you'll see why. That's bigger than the size of your print. And then an X-Acto knife just to trim the edges after it's done. Okay, so let me go get that. So here's our canvas, here's our print. Print it to the size of the canvas, perfect. So here's the little trick. You get the print exactly where you'd like it, then you just clamp it in place. Doesn't have to be too hard. It looks like you should wear a respirator with this. I'm gonna hold my breath. With art resin, you don't need a respirator anymore. It's super safe. We got no VOCs, we worked for three years to find a safe epoxy resin that is clearer than anything that I've ever seen. So we're just gonna spray, plenty. This is where this paper comes in hand. Put it over top, and this way, when you brayer out all the bubbles, sometimes when you go along the edge, you pick up a little line of glue, and then you'd end up putting that all over everything. So there's that side done. So just release these, and then lift up that side. Spray, and push out. Simple, eh? Perfect. Also, the edges get a bit sticky in the spray. That's fine, the art resin will cover it. Just gonna flip it upside down with a really sharp X-Acto knife. There's just a tiny bit of overhang. So I'm just cutting the paper. So there it is. This one is ready. Once I resin it, it's gonna be on Dragon's Den. It's gonna be one of the props that we actually use. Now we're ready to apply the art resin. To end this video, we'll just kind of go over some supplies so that you can get them ready. You want something to raise your piece up on so that the art resin will just drip right off the surface and this won't get stuck to the bottom. You want to level. If it's not level, you know, shove some little papers underneath your pieces. Nitrile gloves. Nitrile's important for using resins. We sell these on the site. We'll probably go through three of these. Take them off, chuck them. A spreader. Uh, stir stick and a mixing cup. And you can reuse them just by wiping them with paper towel after and letting the, the epoxy just cure right to it. Same with the spreaders and the stir sticks. Flambe torch, not necessary, but lots of professionals are using it. It makes 100% sure that every single bubble comes out. Now the bubbles will pop on their own. Now another way is, as you see the bubbles, you can just blow on top of it and the bubbles will go away. Use a straw, I suggest a torch, but not necessary. And then last but not least, your art resin, two-part epoxy resin. All the instructions are online, artresin.com. We have a big FAQ, we have lots of other sample videos. And then email us if you have any questions. Every month we'll be picking someone who uses the hashtag art resin on anything that they put art resin on. So just post it to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you like to use. And we have some software that will randomly pick one person a month. They will be sent a free one gallon studio kit. So anyways, that's going on forever. So as you do stuff, yeah, hashtag art resin. And I'm gonna come back and I'll show you how to pour resin on top of your Mona Lisa or whatever you're doing. Cool, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the nice people out there who say nice things. I love talking to and meeting artists and seeing what everyone's doing because there's so much creativity out there and it's what the world needs. More artists. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.